good afternoon or good morning whenever I happen to make this video. The sun is belting in today and we're still not allowed outside. Well, we're allowed outside once. But we're not allowed to go out and enjoy it is the point I'm making. So this video is part of a big collaboration with a lot of Lolita Fashion YouTubers. I, I count amongst them, even though I'm mostly OG fashion. But we decided we were all going to take a topic each and do a big collaborative project on things to do in isolation, essentially. Just cute, fun, fashion related things to do while you can't leave your house much. This project was Joelle's idea. She started it and loads of people have wanted to take part. So there's going to be a lot of videos in this series. Off the top of my head, Joelle and Paulina are both doing videos in this series. You will have seen them on my channel before. You will even have seen me on their channels before. I will link to both of them. There are several others as well. I have... I have a handy dandy little list of everyone that's taking part. So, aside from myself, Paulina and Joelle, we have Lovely Lore, Candice Bear, Clover Jean, Elizabeth Fallen, Fallen Princess on YouTube, and Embroidered Doll. I'll put all of their channels up here. I'll put little pictures. I'll, you know, that's a problem for me when I'm editing this video. So there will be plenty of videos to watch. There's loads of us doing, and we're all doing different topics. We chose different subjects. I chose wardrobe maintenance. My motivations for choosing this subject were not entirely unselfish. I need to do some wardrobe maintenance myself and I figured if I was going to be doing this chore anyway I might as well film it and bring you guys along for the ride and you know contribute to this project, right? It's, it's a win-win situation for all of us. So before we get started while we're here, if you saw my video um, not last week but the week before, the one where I was doing a blue blusher makeup and I had a sword because I was doing my makeup. I mentioned in that video about Silver's accident and how she broke her tail and had to have it amputated. She was still in her cone in that video. She's out of the cone now, as you can see. She's okay. Silver, are you okay? Yeah, you're a good girl. I just wanted to let everyone know that she's doing great. She's completely fine. She has no tail anymore. But she hasn't seemed to notice. Hasn't seemed to notice? She doesn't seem to have noticed that she doesn't have a tail anymore. It hasn't bothered her in the slightest. So, that's a win. But thanks to everyone who reached out and was concerned. Just wanted to let you all know that she's doing great. She's fine. Nobody told her. Nobody told her what was wrong. So she hasn't noticed. Honestly, Silver's having the time of her life right now. I'm not allowed to go anywhere. My partner's not allowed to go anywhere. We've both been at home all day, every day for a month. Silver's living the dream. Anyway, let's get on to the topic at hand. Wardrobe maintenance. Last December, I did a video clearing out my wardrobe, so I can't really do that here. My wardrobe is already organised. I went through it all. I will link to that other video so that you can, if you want to go and watch me clear out my wardrobe, you can do that. Now it's really just about taking care of the things that are left, taking care of the stuff that I kept. So the first thing I want to do is put some stuff into dye. I am working on another DIY project. This is the last one that is actually in the works. And it's quite a simple one. I'm just going to put some stuff in the washing machine with a dye pod. So I'll do that first and then the washing machine can be running and that stuff can be getting dyed while we do everything else. Ta-da! 
We're using tulip red today. Consider this a little sneak preview of my next DIY video. Okay. Step one is done. What do you think? So obviously I just put stuff in the washing machine so I can't put laundry in right now. So the next step is hand washing. So I'm going to dig out all the stuff that needs hand washed and do that in the sink while the washing machine's working away. So now, now's the time to go and dig out all the delicate blouses and other items that can't really go in the washing machine. Okay. Oh, zoom it out. <laughs> that is two tasks done. We're on a roll. We're on a roll today. What's next? Next is probably steaming, steaming things. I do this because I can't be bothered ironing stuff. I really, really, I really just can't be bothered ironing stuff very much. So I got a little hand steamer and I use that to steam my clothes instead. So, we'll do that next. Water pod, hand steamer. I just got this on Amazon. It was cheap and it's easier than ironing clothes. It's all stained red now though, because of the amount of clothes I've dyed red. It doesn't transfer onto other clothes though. I should probably still clean it, but not today. We got a lot done today. It's time for a tea break. We're not finished yet. It's time for a break. I'm done eating. I'm still drinking my tea. I had to phone the vet because mm, I know I said at the start of this video that silver's been fine but in the last couple of hours there's been a little bit of blood coming from the wound so we phoned the vet I sent them some pictures they'll let me know what's happening what else is left to do today? I also said at the start of this video about how I'd already cleared out my wardrobe but when I did that video I pulled out a load of stuff that was for sale and then I didn't really take good pictures of it or put it up for sale yet so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take some pictures of the things that are for sale and then list them on Lace Market. This process always takes a while because I like to put my clothes on the mannequins to photograph them because it looks nicer and you can get a better idea of what it looks like on a person but dressing a mannequin is quite hard <laughs> I might take some photos of products I made for Etsy while I'm, while I'm here while I'm taking pictures of things anyway I don't have that many more things for Etsy but there's one or two that I need to take pictures of so I might as well do it all while I've got the cameras out 
What do you think? Ow. It's my face. What do you think? Blech. <laughs> He's my girl. He's my good girl. I love you. <laughs> there, I think that's that. My wardrobe is now sufficiently maintained. What do you think? Things were washed. The washing machine is still on. Can you hear it in the background? But the video about that, the stuff that's getting dyed right now will be up in the future. Probably soon, honestly. Don't you love me? Don't you love me? Do you love me? Yes. I love you too. Yeah. I'll swap hands. There we go. There we go. Good girl. Uh, you can support us on Patreon. If you pledge one dollar a month, I use that one dollar to buy peanut butter for silver. If you go to Patreon and support us, you get access to a bunch of secret little videos just of silver doing cute things. You can pledge more as well for other stuff. There's discount codes on there for my Etsy shop. There is higher reward tiers as well where you get prints of my artwork and posters and such. And I just added a reward to the $10 reward tier where you basically get a subscription to <laughs> The pin badges I make. <laughs> Silver. What? What? So if you like the little goth coffin pin badges I've been making and you want to be first to get the new ones, you pledge $10 a month and you will get automatically sent a new one every time I release a new set. And there will be plenty more sets coming up. Yes, there will. Yes, there will. Oh, there will. There's at least three more in the works. Eek. Sulfur, what are you, uh, what are you doing? Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!